Look at this guy standing next to me representing my hometown of Detroit. He is a Florida Boxing Hall of Famer. He's the one and only Julio Martinez, former boxing promoter. Julio, so great to have you here this weekend. What do you think of this class of 2020? The first thing I love is that you lost a lot of weight. Now, I have lost a little bit yeah. of weight. Yeah, I've eaten a few less uh, burgers these days, but uh, I feel good. Well, married life does that to you. It does indeed. No, I am so grateful to be here. I'm just grateful to be anywhere, actually, <laughs> at, at 77. And, well, you, and I love boxing. Well, you don't look 77, I'm going to tell you that. You might look 57, maybe. That's how old I am. That's you all look, you are? You look the same age, don't you think? No, no, you look a lot <laughs> Tell us a little bit about recollecting going back to when you were inducted a few years ago. Think about that experience and what it meant to you. Well, you know, uh, most people don't get to the top of uh, whatever they do in life. And I was able to do it because, you know, I've been in boxing since I was eight years old. My dad, uh, I was a very scary kid. And my dad made me go into a boxing gym, and my trainers were Kid Gavilan and Louis Rodriguez mm. in Havana, Cuba. And uh, at the age of 11, I came here, and I went to Wynwood Park, uh, where Dick Lee taught me uh, the rest of the boxing uh, knowledge that I have. And I've been in boxing ever since. I won't stop until i put in a hole. Well, we don't want that to happen anytime soon. So you just keep, stay healthy and keep coming back and being with us at the Hall of Fame, okay? And you keep doing what you're doing because you do it in a great way. Thank you so much. You got a deal. Julio Martinez, ladies and gentlemen.